A student once asked me very recently, is this the most divided we've ever been as a country? You know, I answered, we did once have a civil war. It's estimated that three quarters of a million Americans died as a result of the civil war, most from disease and starvation. But I added, this is probably the most divided the country has been since the civil war. In fact, half of all Americans say they expect a new civil war in the next few years. It won't be sectional like the original civil war. Imagine New York and California at war with Texas and Florida. And it won't be an economic class war. What we're seeing now is a culture war. And its origins date back to the 1960s, when the Democrats embraced the civil rights movement and set off a massive voter realignment. Why is Donald Trump doing so well in the polls? Not just for the Republican nomination, but even for the 2024 election. The message from the press, be afraid, be very afraid. In a speech in Chicago, and this was in December 2002, Former President Bill Clinton said, speaking as a Democrat, quote, when people feel uncertain, they'd rather have someone strong and wrong rather than someone weak and right. I was there and I wrote in my notes what I have come to call the Clinton rule. Strong and wrong beats weak and right. It still holds today. It's the reason why Trump is doing so well. In the 2022 Gallup poll, only 37% said that President Biden is a strong leader. 56% said the description applies to Donald Trump. Voters' biggest complaint about Biden is that he's a weak leader, 81 years old right now, and to many voters, old means weak. Trump is 78, but he's rarely described as weak. What makes the 2024 election hard to predict is that both of the major candidates are unpopular. In fact, they're regarded equally unfavorably. Democrats are looking for a tough liberal, someone like an old-fashioned Democrat. Truman, Harry Truman was a tough liberal. He fired General MacArthur. Lyndon Johnson was a tough liberal. And Republicans uh, need a nice conservative. What's a nice conservative? It's not Donald Trump. It would be someone like Ronald Reagan, who people were afraid of at first, but eventually discovered he wasn't going to start a war or throw old people out in the snow. So in 2024, we're likely to have what I call an unpopularity contest between a Democrat who's not very strong and a Republican who's not very nice. That's why this election is so close and so hard to predict.